you can unlock this Dark Aether Blueprint for free right now in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and in this video I'm going to show you the steps you need to complete in order to get it. So the long and the short of it is that you need to go to the Dark Aether, and this is not the same Dark Aether that you go to for the story mission for Act 4. You need to go to the one where you need to complete a little easter egg first to actually summon the portal, and then once you get there you need to complete the three contracts within the Dark Aether in one game. So the items that you need in order to spawn this Dark Aether portal is a golden tier locked diary, pill bottle, dog collar and security camera. So there's a few different ways that you can go about this. You can either head around, do the easter eggs and find all of these items for yourself. Or if you manage to join a team or you've got a friend that already has all of these items, then you can go with them to summon the portal and then the portal will stay open for you. Now in terms of getting these parts for yourself, the locked diary is found in the reward rift after you kill the boss during the Act 4 story mission. So for this mission, you first obviously need to select it in the menus, and it doesn't matter if you have not done any of the previous Act missions, you can select and start this one straight away. So once you've got it selected and you jump into a game, you obviously you want to get yourself prepared. So if you've got some schematics to be able to pop ether tools, perks and pack a punch, then do that. Otherwise, just farm some contracts, earn some essence, and then buy them that way. The exfil point is just south of the high threat zone, and it's labelled on your map with bad signal. You just want to head up to it, and it'll give you and your teammates a prompt to start it. Once they accept it, you'll then be teleported to the Dark Aether. So once you're in the Dark Aether, your first objective is to break four different seals. So there'll be four different seal locations that you need to break, and each of these locations will be marked on your screen with these yellow ping icons. At each of these different locations, you need to go up to the podium sort of thing and interact with it, and this will begin the process of breaking the seal. Once you activate it, it will spawn a whole bunch of zombies, and you basically just need to kill these zombies within a certain radius of the podium to fill it up and then break the seal. After doing this for each of the four different seals, you'll then be instructed to leave the Dark Aether, but this is just a ruse because you'll head down to the beach and a giant Gormgant worm boss will spawn in which you need to kill. Now this boss fight is not easy, it's going to take a lot of damage in order to kill this guy, and there's a lot of other things that you need to deal with as well. There's zombies that'll be running around the place trying to get you, and this boss also spawns these annoying ass orbs that just completely shred your armor, so you need to be taking care of those all at the same time. Now the boss's critical points are these sort of glowing parts along I guess you'd call it his body, so every opportunity that you get you want to be shooting him here. If you run out of ammo, there is an ammo cache just on the edge of the beach that's a permanent spawn, so definitely make use of this, and if you need to, throw down some decoy grenades so you can easily resupply. If by chance the worm eats you, what you can do is you can wait until he spits you out, and more often than not you can quickly pull your parachute, and you'll actually still be able to survive and not get downed, which can come in really clutch. So like I say, while you're fighting the boss, he also spawns these orb sort of things that attack you and absolutely shred your armor. They don't take a lot of damage to kill, but they can be quite fast, so the second that you see these, you need to shoot and destroy them. So once you've defeated the Gormgant, within the reward rift that spawns, this is where you're going to receive the locked diary that you need. Now you're able to exfil this out, and you're also able to keep it within your stash for when you're ready to go and summon the Dark Aether portal. So these next steps in order to get the legendary pill bottle, dog collar and security camera, you can really do in any order that you want to. You can do these each one by one in different games, or you can smash them all out in one game. It's really up to you how you want to do it. So for the pill bottle, you can use any weapon that you want to, but you need to make sure that you have the brain rot ammo mod equipped to it. Then you can head to any ether nest location, which are marked on your map with this icon, and what you need to do once you get there is shoot one of the cysts that are inside of it one time. Once you've done that, you'll then find that the cyst will give you a prompt to open it up. So just go up to it, hold down your interact button until the cyst opens up. And then inside of it, you'll see the pill bottle you need to grab. Now this pill bottle will be a purple rarity one, which you can extract with. But what we need is the gold tier bottle. So the way to upgrade this is to first find one of the Aether Rift portals. These don't spawn in the exact same locations every game, but they do have set spawns and it's random which one they'll be at. A very useful website that I've been using to find all of the different locations for these so I could head around to check if they were there 
is the WZ Hub Interactive Map. This will actually be handy for a few of the other items you need to find as well. So once you've found a rift, you want to jump into it and you need to pull your parachute straight away and look around in the sky for another rift, but this one will be colored green. Maneuver your way into this rift and once you do so, you'll find that a purple bounty contract will be marked on your map in the low threat zone. So drop down, start the contract, and once you kill the mimic that it puts the bounty on, the reward rift that you'll receive will have this upgraded gold tier pill bottle. For the security camera, again, you can use any weapon that you want to, but this time you need to have the dead wire ammo mod equipped. Once you do, you then need to find a harvester orb. Again, for this, use the Warzone Hub interactive map. It's super clutch. It shows all of the possible spawn locations for these orbs. Once you've found one, you'll see it marked on your minimap with this icon and you then just need to start shooting it. You'll know that you're doing the right thing because when you first shoot it, the orb will turn yellow and then basically all you need to do is just keep shooting it until it's destroyed. Once destroyed, it will drop a purple rarity security camera and just like the pill bottle, you need to upgrade this to the golden tier. So this is done the exact same way, you just need to find one of the ether rifts, but this time once you jump into it, you're going to be looking for a yellow rift in the sky, and this will mark another bounty contract, but this time it'll be in the medium threat zone. This will be for a bounty for a pain in the ass disciple, but if you've got the dead wire ammo mod, then this will help deal more damage to him at times, or even ideally you want to have a wonder waff, which will help take him out really quickly because he doesn't like taking electric damage. Again, once you kill him and complete this bounty contract, the reward rift that spawns will drop you this upgraded version of the security camera. Finally is the dog collar, and for this you just need to make sure that you have either a thermite or a molotov equipped onto your loadout, and then you need to find one of these dog houses around the map. Again, use the Warzone Hub map to find these, it really does come in clutch. Once you find one, you simply need to place either the thermite or the molotov into the dog house, and this will spawn an enemy dog which you need to kill, and this dog will drop the purple tier dog collar. I'm sure you can see where this is going, so you need to find another ether rift and jump into it, and this time you'll see a red rift up in the sky, and once you go through it, it will mark a bounty contract in the high threat zone. So complete the contract, get the gold tier dog collar, and then at this stage you should still hopefully have all of the remaining items to move on to the next step. So if you're fortunate enough and you know someone that's already got all of these parts, then you could just join them and completely skip having to do it all, and then you can just go on to the next step, which is opening up the Ether Portal, and the portal will stay remained open for you as well. So right next to that original portal for the Act 4 story mission, there's this small island which has like a sort of Ether Tornado sort of thing on it. What you need to do is you need to head here with these four gold items, and you want to head up to each of the altars and drop each item into the specific one. So the lock diary goes into the podium with the cryo freeze icon on it, the dog collar is for the podium with the fire icon, the pill bottle is for the one with the brain rot icon on it, and the security camera is for the one with the dead wire icon. So once you've placed the fourth one into the podium, this will spawn the dark ether portal, but it's also going to spawn a mega abomination which you need to kill. Once you have killed this, it will spawn a reward rift that will have a dark ether sigil inside of it. You then need to place this sigil here on the left hand side of the dark ether portal, and just like for the Act 4 mission, this will initiate the rift, and once your team votes yes, you'll then be teleported to the dark ether. Now the enemies in this version of the dark ether are more like the ones you'll find in the high threat zone, so you really need to make sure that you're fully geared up with like Pack-A-Punch 3, all of your perks, ether tools, kill streaks, and so on. So once you're in the Dark Aether, you'll make your way across this bridge and you'll see these three different bunnies shoot off into different locations. You need to find these bunnies to then start three different contracts. So one of them is going to spawn right here on top of this building, just to the left of where you originally spawned. This is going to start an ether extractor contract, so you need to head to each of the different marked locations, and then interact with each to override and destroy the extractors. The other bunny is going to spawn just here on the front of this green bus, which is along the beach line where you had to fight the worm boss from the Act 4 mission. So the contract that this one's going to start is an Outlast contract, so basically activate the PND and stay within the environment killing zombies until you fill out the progress bar to 100%. 
The third bunny location is going to spawn on top of this tunnel, which from where you spawn is kind of to the right hand side of Albagra Fortress. And like I say, there's a tunnel underneath where it's located, and this has a zip line on the outside of it up to where the bunny is, and he's just sitting right here on the ledge. So this one's going to start an escort contract, so once it drops, head to the ACV tank sort of thing and activate it, then stay here or on top of it to protect it from the zombies, and escort it all along the way till it reaches its final destination. Now like I say, all of the zombies and the bosses within this version of the Dark Aether are absolutely no joke, so you want to be running the best weapons that you can. We found that the Wonder Waff worked really well within this Dark Aether zone, so if you've got that, try and use that. I've also been using the SVA 545, which I've been finding to be really effective against zombies. Uh, you've also still got the tier pistols, or the akimbo versions of those with the snake shots does really well. Um, you could probably still use the crossbow as well, although that has received a little bit of a nerf since the season one update. And then obviously using your decoy grenades and kill streaks and stuff in here is going to be super helpful as well. So if you're able to complete all three of these contracts within one game inside of the Dark Aether, you'll get the pop-up telling you that you've dominated the Dark Aether and you would have unlocked the Geode Blueprint. If you don't manage to do this the first time, then like I kind of mentioned at the start of the video, once you've done this small easter egg quest to summon the Aether Portal on Urzikstan, then it will spawn again each time that you go there. You will need to find more sigils though in order to activate the portal again, and you can find these by doing contracts in the high threat zone, there's a random chance that they'll drop in the reward rifts from doing them. Like I say, this blueprint is for the MCW Assault Rifle, and this one actually has the Jack Raven aftermarket part on it. Personally, I think this blueprint is bloody sick. The Dark Aether parts on it aren't actually animated, even though it kind of looks like it is, but it is still super cool. Remember to make use of my Discord server if you're looking for people to party out with and get this done, or if you've got any questions at all, feel free to fire away in the comments down below. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. You look after yourself, and take it easy.